For RCR Wireless News, my name is Sean Kinney and I'm here with Werner Sievers of Nextivity to learn a little bit more about the Cellfi Quattro product. Uh, as I understand it, Werner, this is really meant to enable the enterprise in-building connectivity, but I was hoping you could explain to us how Cellfi Quattro is different from an active or passive DAS that our, our viewers might be more familiar with. Yeah, um, re relevant question. Um, when one, we're a hybrid active DAS system. And when one hears the word hybrid in a DAS context, it normally sort of refers to uh, a passive hybrid with an active, some kind of technology that's perhaps emerging from passive state to an active state. In our case, um, you know, Quattro is really a hybrid between the intelligent boosting platform that we have matured over the last you know, nine, 10 years um, and an active uh, DAS system. And so what that really gives one is a, is a highly intelligent, low, um, low maintenance, um, sort of highly resilient product that, that ideally addresses the middle price. We don't, we don't tend to go to the very large environments like uh, some of the big desk vendors do, the top five desk vendors. But ideally we sort of pitch specifically at the sort of 15,000 to maybe 200,000. We're now seeing that increase to perhaps closer to 300,000, but that's our sweet spot. And in some of uh, your materials, I, I've seen you use the phrase supercell. Can yeah. you help me understand what you mean by supercell? Yeah. So I, I think it's all about um, looking at small cells and their capacity context. So obviously when, uh, as we all know, when there's a capacity deficiency, um, the need exists to bring in capacity. Small cells, in building small cells in particular, are ideal for that. And our argument is, our strong argument is that in many instances, the small cell, while it's an ideal capacity deliverer, it isn't really a coverage deliverer. And so very often the small cell isn't also sited in an optimum position, which means that its coverage footprint is even further limited or, or impacted. And so um, what we're promulgating as a company and a technology and what's being highly sort of, you know, highly rewarded, should I say, from, a, from an installer and an enterprise community point of view in terms of response to that, has been the amalgamation or the mating of a small cell with Quattro. And what that really does is that creates uh, a small, uh, uh, a sort of a supercell context. And what that really means is that the capacity that the small cell is introducing to that in-building environment is now accessible throughout the building through the architecture of, of, uh, of Quattro. So really, we, Quattro then sort of funnels the capacity or makes the capacity available to all the users in that sort of in-building environment. Okay, and Werner, you said uh, the word middle prize. This is uh, just a booming market that, that really needs a solution. And what we see in some of the major DAS deployments, it's just not really right. It's also not very affordable. So help me understand why Cellfi Quattro really is poised to enable that in-building connectivity for the middle prize. Yeah, sure, and again, I think just a great question for us to respond to. Um, Quattro really, you know, and depending, depending on what one thinks the middle prize really is, for us the middle prize in a sense is not only enterprises of you know, 15,000 to 200, maybe 300,000 square feet. It's any in-building environment that has perhaps, you know, comprises that sort of range of footprint. And, and in that sort of, you know, context, the, the, the primary benefit that I think Quattro delivers consistently is the ability to readily install um, the product. Of course, we encourage site surveys, we encourage responsible environmental sort of checks um, and then sort of very readily map a solution to um, you know, that full spectrum of opportunity at a price point that is, is very, very competitive. Right? And so if you have a look at the implications of that, it's really sort of a significant cost advantage. It's a, it's a definitely a labor advantage as well. And then on the back end of it all, in terms of the maintenance, it's a very dynamic intelligent system. And so that it doesn't require installers, system integrators ever to have to go back and do any post commissioning uh, sort of fine tuning and, and the like. So really it's, it's, it's and we don't, it's, we're not burdened. Quattro doesn't, you know, isn't burdened by the, 
uh, by the cost of, you know, and by the technology implication of having to go to a million square feet. So it really enables us to play incredibly efficiently from 15,000 super efficiently in steps of sort of 50,000 up to 200. And as I say now, as the installer community becomes more a fay with our product, sees the virtues of our product, they're getting so, so much more creative with our product. And as a result, that creativity is leading to actually larger deployments. But quite honestly, if all we did all day long was at 15 to 200,000 square foot, there was so much demand in that space right now that you know, even our installers from a, a labor availability point of view can't even really keep up with the amount of um, demand that there is. Well, Werner, I really appreciate you taking the time to tell us about the work Nextivity's doing and share your perspective on the in-building connectivity space. Thanks, Sean.